still here for your 30 minute workout. Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time. To my left I have Jerry helping me to demonstrate our workout this morning. So if you have a towel, a small little hand towel, please grab it and bring it along. So our workout will be incorporating the towel the whole time. We're gonna get right into it this morning, starting with our dynamic stretching. So let's make our way down to the ground in our plank position. So here we go. Shoulders on top of the wrist, open up the chest, push out of the heels, tighten your quads, tighten your core. Let's take that left leg up outside of the left hand. So you're in a nice hip stretch here. Really lengthening and breathing. Now take that left arm, if you had the left leg up or the right arm, and twist open, reaching up, look towards the sky. Take a moment here, get that chest. Drop it back down into the plank, step that foot back, let's switch, other side. If this is too much for the hips, you can always step it back a little bit. Here we go, rotate, reach. Breathing and drop the hand down, step that foot back. Now let's go into our downward dog. Pushing the heels into the ground, trying to get your chest to touch your quads and really stick that chest out opening. Stay breathing, few breaths and come back down. Let's repeat it a little faster now. Step that right foot up, right arm twist, drop it down, other side. Nice and easy. Opening everything up, stick the hips back towards the ceiling. Push those heels down, chest open. Inhale, exhale, one more breath. All right, here we go again, reach. Twist, drop, step it back, other side. Think of your spine nice and long, drop. Take your time here, downward dog. This is where we get to sit for a moment. You can maybe tread the knees, pushing the heels down. All right, come back into that plank. Switch. One more time, rotate. Bring it back. Other leg. Rotate, let's do one more downward dog, here we go. Step that foot back, push the heels down. Stay connected with the breathing, maybe tread the heels and knees a little bit. Twist the hips, anything that you need, anything your body's asking for. Let's push both heels down, one more big breath. Good, come into that plank and drop the knees down. Good, let's make our way up. Grab that towel now, here we go. Grab the ends of the towel, roll the shoulder blades down and back. Let's just bring the arms up, feel a nice stretch and bring it down. Again, reach. Few more. We're opening up the chest, getting the rotators going, lengthening the spine. Two more here. Breathe. So for our first round, we have four ab moves and shake it out. Each one is going to be about 45 seconds long. So take your time here. Let's find the connection. We don't want to move just to move. We want to know what is working, why we're working, and finding the connection. So let's bring the arms forward. Rotate your shoulder blades down and back, tighten your core. Here we go. Twisting right and left. Now keep the head forward. So it's just your obliques in your core. So we're isolating our abdominal wall and our rib cage is moving. Twist. Weight in the heels. Slight soft bend to the knees. Tighten your obliques and your core. Keep it going. So you're tightening all these muscles and you're tightening your obliques here. As you can see, Jerry's doing her little twist action. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it out. Let's drop that towel down. Second move, we're in a plank position. Widen your toes. We cross tap over the towel. Tap, tap. Full body here. Our abs are helping us tap over. Now, if you need to at any time, you can come down to the knees and tap. Completely up to you. If you widen the toes, 
That will help with more stability. You can slow down the tap. You can pick up the tap. It's completely up to you. Challenge yourself though. Out of the comfort zone. Push. Almost there. 10. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Grab that towel. Here we go. Lengthen your legs. Flex your feet. Lift your arms up nice and tall. Open up the chest. Long spine. Now, we roll it down. Bring the arms overhead. Now, bring the arms up. Core up. Use the core. Reach up and over. So you'll get a nice stretch, too, while you're at it. Ready? Roll it down. Up, reach, fold it over. We just have a few more here. And then we'll be going into our famous Russian twist. Up and over. Two more, lift, roll it down. Take your time. Use the core to come down and up. One more. This roll is slow, one vertebrae at a time. Up. And stretch it out. There we go. Good. Bend the legs. Heels into the ground. Arms are long. We hinge back. Tighten your abdominal wall. Try not to put the pressure in your hip flexors. Put it in your core. Now we twist. Up and over. If you want to challenge yourself this morning, lift the legs up. Up and over. Breathing. Feel the obliques wrap around. If you feel the pressure in your lower back or hips, boom, the heels come straight down. Breathe. You can play with it. We have 15 seconds left. Push over. How you doing back there, Jerry? We have five, four, three, Two, one, drop the legs. Place the towel behind the head. Roll it all the way down. Elbows back, belly button to spine. We lift and lower, lift. We're using the towel as assistance to bring our head up. Our core is doing all of the work, yes? Tighten the core and lift. Use your breath. Exhale up, inhale. Breathing really helps your muscles, gives it the proper oxygen. Lift, lower. Never let that back come off of your floor. Let's hold it up, small movements up. Lift. If you want to challenge yourself, let's lift the knees up over the hips. If you find that to be too much, no worries. Place the feet back down. Up. One more set. Lift and lower. Let's go. Lift. Up. Almost there. Four, three, two. Hold it up. Small movement. Up. Keep your gaze at the ceiling. Tighten your upper abdominal wall. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, come down and rest. Hug the knees into the chest with the towel. You can rock the knees side to side, getting that lower back. Taking a moment. Now, let's make our way back up to a standing position. Here we go. Now your core should be nice and warm, right? So we have four movements now, full body. Worrying about the quality, right? We're gonna take our time through everything. We're gonna really talk about form today. So, grab the towel, one end in each hand. We have a squat, feet are shoulder length apart. Now remember, your knees never track over your toes. You want your hips and your butt to go back. So, having the towel in hand, bringing the arms up. Now, think of pulling the towel away. We're adding resistance there. While doing so, rotate the shoulder blades down and back and open up your chest. We have a squat with a row. We make our way down to a push up. You ready? Here we go. We bring it down, up. Now drop down, 
step one foot back at a time. Give me a push up. Step it in wide. Right here, I want that wide stance. Row. Core is engaged. Inhale down, exhale up. Step one foot, one foot. Push through the heels to come up. I do not want your toes to be the driving force when you stand up. Heel, heel, bring it up, squat. There we go, now we have it, guys. Inhale, exhale, step. Bring it up, row. Breathe. We have about 15 seconds left. Step it wide. Use the heels, use your quads to come up. Drop. This is our last one. In four, three, two, ah, there we go. Now, still hold on to the towel. We're going to turn side so you can see us. We have a one-legged deadlift. So, my left ball of the foot is into the ground. I'm still pulling that towel away, adding the resistance. Jerry's going to keep her left foot down. I'm going to lift, so either or is perfect for you. Whatever works. We lift up and over, flat back, and we come back up. I'm pushing through my right heel. My right knee is slightly bent, and I'm thinking up and over. My biceps stay by my ears the whole time. Up and over. Lift. Up and over. Working on that balance. This is so good for you. Your glute is engaged. Your right glute, squeeze that. Push up. Few more here, and we will switch sides. Good. Two more. One more. Woo! Hello, balance. Good. Shake it out. You can drop the arms for a second. Roll the shoulder blades down and back. Let's set ourselves up for the other side. Arms up, breathe, find that adjustment. Shoulder blades down and back, pulling the towel away. Weight is in that left foot. Here we go, tighten that abdominal wall. Up and over, and lift. This, is, this side for me is a little harder, because I'm lefty. So getting that leg up, that right leg, up and over. Woo! Keep it going. How are we doing over there, Jerry? Breathing. Feel that hamstring. Stay concentrated. A few more. Every time I lower and lift, I really tighten my core. And I'm pushing into my left heel. One more. Good. Shake it out. Roll those shoulder blades down and back. I had a tight grip on that one. That was a little hard. Here we go. Grab that towel again. We bring it up overhead. Same thing. We're really, you're going to feel your upper back and your shoulders today. So pull that towel away. We take that left foot. We step it back. Let's find our lunge. Now we lift that leg up. Bring the knee forward and swing your arms forward. So we come up, up, and lower. Lift. If this is too much, you can bring the toe in and then step it back. Push into that right leg. Woohoo! Squeeze that glute. Up. Push. Lower. Up. A few more here. Lift. We have five more seconds. That will give us one more, right? Let's hold it up. Find that balance. Pull the towel away. Push into that right heel. Three, two, one. Come down. Shake it out. Other side. Arms up. Again, we're not looking to rush, right? Balance. It's key. Tighten that back quad. Tighten that glute. Weight in the front heel, ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Up, and lower, lift. You can always bring that toe up if you need to. 
Challenge yourself though, right? We don't want to take the easy way out. If it's burning, you know you're doing it right. Core is engaged, up. Lift, squeeze. 10 more seconds here. Up. We have four, three, two. Let's hold it up, other side. Find that balance. Pull the towel away. Weight in that left heel. Three, two, come down. Shake it out. One more move, we get to rest for a moment. Let's place that towel down. Long lateral here, we're jumping over. First, we're just going to step over to get that balance. So take that right leg, bring it over, we step. Left leg comes up. Now, you can always place the ball of the foot down. You always have that option, so we switch. Find the balance, up. If you wanna take it down and tap, tap, woohoo. Let's start to pick up the pace. Switch, switch. We'll go with that music, right? Up and over. How are we doing? Check in with yourself. Hold yourself accountable. Make it count. There's a reason why you pressed start this morning, right? Or play, I should say. Switch. Keep it going. We have 13 minutes left of our workout. Stay committed. Switch. Switch. 10. Four. Two. Let's hold one side. Ah! Woo! Switch. Find it. And come out, shake it out, grab that towel. Now I have a towel to towel off if you need to. Now just remember, it's okay that you're wobbling a little bit. It's your body trying to find that balance. It's good for you, right? It shakes things up and it's not just a muscle movement. It brings your brain along too. So your brain and your muscle trying to figure out a way not to fall, right? Now we start all over again. We had our little rest, feet are wide. Now our body knows what we have in store. So we can pick up the pace just a little bit for each movement. Let's start by rotating, twist. Try not to let the head go with the body. We wanna isolate that core so the abdominal wall can do that work. Just have the weight in the heels, soft bend to the knees so we put no pressure in our lower back. Keep twisting, 10 seconds. Then we make our way down to the ground, legs straight, arms overhead. In four, three, two, one, here we go. Sit it down, straighten, flex the feet. We roll down, extend, bring it up. Up and over, get that nice stretch, lift, roll it down. Up, use the core to come up. Just a few more here. Here we go, lift, Woo! Two more, shoulder blades down and back. And up, reach, one more. Up, roll, this is it. And stretch it out, good. Bend the knees, heels into the ground. Chest is open, we're pulling the towel away. We rotate, down. Now the head can go with the torso, right? Up and over. Breathing. 20 more seconds here. Maybe challenge yourself, lift the legs up. Make sure there's no pressure in the hips or lower back. Twist. 10 seconds. Up and over, up and over. Ooh, you know what I forgot, Jerry? What? Our plank tap. Four, three, two, one. How could you not remind me? Shake it out. Towel down. I'm like, I know something feels funny here. All right, we're in our plank. Feet are wide, chest open. We tap, cross. Full body workout here. Keep it going. 
quickly just going through some form stuff. Shoulders on top of her wrists. Her quads are engaged, her core is engaged. Her feet are wide, so she's not rotating too much from side to side. So check in with your body. See what's going on, right? So important to have that form down. Then we get the maximum benefit of our movement. 10 more seconds here. 10, nine, eight, four, three, two, one. Now we come down, grab that towel. Back to our scheduled program. Towel behind the head, roll it down. Elbows back, we lift and lower, lift, lower. Keep it going. I should never be able to slide my hand underneath your back. Belly button to spine. Woo. Each vertebrae has a home on that ground, right? Lift. Eight, seven, four. Small movements up, we pulse up. You can always lift the knees over the hips, not the belly button. Know the difference. Eight. Four, full range, here we go. Exhale, inhale, again, that breathing truly helps you. Try not to hold that breath. We have four, three, two, last small movement up. Going along with the music. Give me eight more counts and then we get to stand up. Eight, seven, Four, three, two, let's stand it up, really shake it out. We have a couple seconds to rest. Let's kind of go over what we need to do. Hold the towel, pull the chest open, shoulder blades down and back, arms up overhead. We have our squat with row and a push up. Three, two, one, here we go. Down, up, drop, step it back, push up, step it up. Let's just pick up the pace just a little bit. Our heart rate is up, our muscles are warm. Step it in. I need you to step those feet wide every time. It is so important. I never want this to happen when we step it here, right? Try not to do that. Just be aware of what the muscles are doing, what your body's doing. Inhale down, exhale up. Breathe. Down. 10 more seconds, let's get one more in. Here we go. Drop, step, push up, step it up, swing it up, deadlift. We rotate to the side so you can see us. Ready, ball the foot down, left ball the foot, right leg, here we go. Up and over, and lift. Up and over. Keep moving, I just wanna talk about the form again. See how nice and long her spine is? Think of sticking your chest out towards the ground, keeping the biceps by the ear. So when she comes down, she's gonna keep the biceps by the ears. Some people may have tight lower back or hamstring. So you go down where you feel comfortable with that back is long, and we come back up. Power through that leg. Squeeze through the glute and your heel, push. A few more here, then we'll switch. Ready, three. Give me two more, two, one, good, shake it out, other side, up nice and long, here we go, pushing through the heels, up and over, lift, down, up, biceps by the ears, tighten the core, push through that standing heel. Pull the towel away. Keep going. You'll feel a nice stretch in the hamstring. What are the hamstrings? It's right here, yes. Just in case, you never know. You never know. Squeeze that glute. Three. Two. We have one more. Here we go. Good, shake it out. Drop that towel down, up and over. Here we go, switch. 
Try to get lower. You can always keep that toe down in the back if you need to. Switch. Core's tight. One foot to one foot. We're transitioning our weight. One foot, over. 10 more seconds here. 10, nine, eight. We've got this. Four, three, two, one. Grab that towel. One more move and we stretch. How nice is that? Arms up, left leg back. We lunge, bring that knee up and back. Squeeze. Pull that towel away. Push through that right heel up and down. Squeeze. Give me two more, then we switch sides. Two, one more. Good, hold it. And release, step the opposite foot back. And up, back, squeeze. 10 more seconds here. How many can you get in? One more. Let's hold it up. Hold it. Four. Three. Two. This is a long one. Shake it out. We made it. We have our big push. It's my anthem that I like to do, our walk-up planks. We'll do five on each side. Let's make our way down. Quick, so we can get a nice stretch in. Push-up plank. This is our push. We come down onto the forearm. We replace the the elbow with the palm of the hand. Five on each side. You ready, Jerry? Ready. Three, two, one, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side, here we go. Push. This is it. Three more. Two, one more. Oh, rest. Swing it around, grab your towel, towel off. Maybe have some water. Breathe, inhale, exhale. We made it. I feel like that went really fast today. So that means it must have been good. Take the towel, wrap it around that right foot. Bring the left leg in, nice long spine. Feel that calf, flex that foot. If you can, lift the heel off the ground. Stretch it out, breathe. Now release, roll the ankle a little. Ah, now, come forward just a little bit more. Release, other side. Left foot, right leg in, towel around. It's so important to stretch. Please don't skip the stretching. Or if you can revisit it a little later. Your muscles need that. Inhale, exhale. And come forward. Good, let's do both. Remember, after you're done with this workout, which we are, we have what, two minutes of stretching? Please visit the rest of our library at kinetic.com. There's so many amazing instructors and videos to check out. You'll be missing out if you don't give it a shot. And of course, check out my website, kdfitness.nyc. Roll it all the way down, let's get the hamstrings. Place that towel over the ball of the foot, stretch out that leg. Try to keep your opposite leg nice and long. Keep your foot flexed. It's okay if your knee's slightly bent. Sometimes we have really tight hamstrings, so that feels better. We don't want to over push anything. We're just trying to get a nice stretch in. And release it down, other leg. Wrap that towel around. These are stretches that you can do in the morning when you're waking up. It takes five minutes. Breathing, and release it down. Whew. There we go, let's just come onto the knees for a moment. Opening up that chest. We also have Ariel tomorrow, 9 a.m. Little time change for you. Inhale, exhale. Let's do two more. Open up the chest and release. One more. And let's make our way up to a standing. Ooh. Hug the right knee up with the towel, pulling in. Stretch out the lower back. Maybe roll the ankle. Switch sides. The 
This is it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in yet again. And if this was your first time, I hope you enjoyed it. Roll out the ankle, release. Thanks again, Jerry. Thank you again, Kinetic. I'm Q Coach Crystal. Check out the videos, check out my website, and tune in with Ariel tomorrow. Have a great one, bye.